Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm so excited because I am doing a um, retake on Kylie Jenner's makeup from the uh, Golden Globes. When I tell you, I was like, oh my God, I had a top 10 that I posted on Instagram because I couldn't decide. I thought everyone's makeup was beautiful. You know, I didn't even know whose makeup I was gonna try to replicate today. I went back and forth, so you know, but let me tell you this. I'm doing another collaboration with my good friend, Kira. Um, I'm gonna put her channel below. It's called Pretty Me Up. So you guys go and check her out as well and see who she decided to do. So I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. Okay guys, we're starting out with the spiked brow pencil by MAC and Kylie's brows really don't have an arch. So we're gonna go without the arch today. Now I'm going in with NYX. This is an eye base in the color three. It's like a, Kind of like a nude shade. And I'm going all over my lid with that, all the way up to the brow bone. And I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. And this is just gonna set the base for our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of tape. I'm gonna apply it to each side of my eye. And I'm just using this as a guideline. Next, I'm going in with um, Soft Brown by MAC. I'm gonna use this as my transition color. If you look at Kylie's eye, she has a bit of a, like a little maroon reddish right above um, the crease area. So that's what we're doing here. Now I'm going in with Beauty Addicts. It's a four color quad. It actually had all the colors that I was looking for to create this look. And I'm using that color right there for my brow bone color. Next I'm going in with Light Talk. This color is from Coastal Scents and I'm using it to deepen the crease. Next going in with the darkest shade, I'm going back in. And again, this is just gonna darken everything. If you look at Kylie's makeup, you'll see her eyes are really smoked out. Sorry about my camera not focusing, but this color was in Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. Make sure to blend this out really good. Now, if you look at her lid, it was a lot lighter than the rest of her eye. It kind of did like an ombre effect from lightest to darkest. So we're gonna achieve that doing this. Again, I apologize, my camera's not focusing, but I went in with the Naked Lunch by MAC and I sprayed the brush a little bit with a little bit of Fix Plus. So basically here, I just went back in using the same brown from that quad, just to deepen up the color a little bit. So I'm just adding a little bit more eyeshadow, the Naked Lunch, with the Studio Fix Plus just to make sure it has that nice gradient effect. Now we're going in with Mode of Cosmetics, the little black dress. We're not going to create a wing this time. We're pretty much just going to cover the lash line and we're going to smoke it out a bit. I'm just going in, removing the tape because it kind of was blocking the way. Now for that beautiful glow she had, I'm going in with Strobe by MAC. I'm going to mix that into the foundation. It's gonna shear it down, but it's definitely gonna give it a nice dewy look. Making sure I apply that all over my face, skipping under the eye area, cause we're gonna save that for concealer. And I completely forgot to put my corrector on, so I'm adding that in. But we're gonna continue adding our foundation as if we did not miss that step. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Creamy Concealer. This is in the color Caramel, and I'm gonna go in and do my highlighting. Now, as always, I'm going in with my Maybelline in the number 25. This is going to be my second shade that's lighter than the first. So that makes it two shades lighter than my complexion. Now I'm going to go in and set with my Graftobian Banana Cream Pie very lightly. We're not baking. Now, this is a new contour palette I got by AC Contour. I must say, it's really not that bad. Um, I'm just testing it out, so we'll see. I'll be honest, I didn't like the coverage it gave, but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. Now going in with the infamous Laguna by NARS, I'm gonna use that pretty much to give my skin a nice bronzing effect. And I love this because it's not too harsh, it's just perfect. Now this new highlighter I got is by It Cosmetics. It's beautiful, it has an ombre effect, and this is in Sugar Rum, Plum, excuse me. Can't you see that beautiful glow it gives? And it has a nice hue pink to it, pink hue. I just can't speak today. Now the Star Crush Minerals, let me tell you right now, it's the bomb.com. If you missed the color, it's called Birthday Suit and it's beautiful. My previous tutorial, I used the other shade that I have. I'm just doing a few touch-ups going back in with that quad, the darkest brown, and I'm doing the same thing as I did to the lid, applying the colors darkest to lightest. Be sure to blend that bottom out. You wanna make sure everything is seamless. Now going in with Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, love this mascara. And I'm making sure that I'm adding it generously. 
going back in with that cocoa bear I'm applying that underneath the very tip of the cup from where the I never was able to explain that but I'm basically adding it underneath to give it a nice transition I'm going in with this new lip tar that I got. I don't recall the shade, but I'll put it below. I figured since I don't have the lip color that she has, I'll mute out, mute out my lips and then add the NARS um, orgasm on top. And keep touching that up until you feel that you've gotten it perfect. I even took a little bit of Ben Nye's um, uh, Fresh Coral Blush and I applied it of course, as my blush color, but I applied it on my lips as well. And now because Terrell wants the aliens to see her highlight, we are going in with the Dewy Spray by NYX. Truth is, I just love the spray the hell out of myself. And that's it, folks. So this is my look for Kylie Jenner. Although her eyes, I notice, is, a, is hooded and mine isn't. I have a lot of space. I pretty much just tried to make sure I focused on the color concept, so... I hope I satisfied you all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Man, seriously? Like, what the hell? It's like this one little daggone hair that I just can't get it right. So, yes, Terrell. Your dumbass uses scissors. Real smart. And then she smiles.